Please remain standing as our class valedictorian, Xavier Green and Aaron White, lead us in the Pledge to the Flag and the Invocation. At this time, will you please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We are thankful for this day that has been given us, for its blessings, its opportunities, its challenges. May we appreciate and use each day that comes to us. We ask for strength and guidance for each day as it comes, for each day's duties, for each day's problems. May we be challenged to give our best always, and may we be assured of the presence that is always with us. Ladies and gentlemen, East Liverpool City School District Superintendent, Mr. Jonathan Ludwig. Thank you. A return to traditions, it's a proud day. Welcome to the 148th East Liverpool High School commencement. I would like to personally thank our Board of Education, our teachers, our administrative staff and our custodial and maintenance staff for making this day possible. You're a very special group of students. I'm proud you were my first group of seventh graders when I returned to East Liverpool and became principal at East Liverpool Junior Senior High School. It's been a pleasure to watch you mature and achieve success. <clears throat> this afternoon, like many of you, I look out and see young men, young men and women ready to greet the future. You've experienced a very unique high school experience as three of these past four years have been touched with the effects of living in a global pandemic. This pandemic has changed all of you in a variety of ways, but you learned during your time at East Liverpool High School. You learned a lot. You learned to be resilient. You've learned the ability to adapt and be flexible. You've learned to think outside the box, be creative, and come up with solutions to problems. You've learned to persevere and you've learned to overcome struggles. And for that, I'm extremely proud of you. These life lessons will most definitely be something you'll face in the new chapter of life. Your response to adversity will always shape the outcome. The theme of my, my brief speech today is twofold. First, it's important to have a vision and a mission no matter where life takes you. And second, it's imperative to remain thankful and continue to learn and grow as you get older. It's simple, a very simple philosophy get a little better every day. Our mission at East Liverpool City Schools is to create a safe and welcoming educational environment to achieve excellence in academics, career and technical skills, athletics, arts, and extracurricular activities while providing our community with responsible and productive citizens. I'm proud of how our Potter community came together to support one of our own this year. This community rallied around Caden Davis and his family and not only his family, but supported his extended Potter family. These important life lessons are just as important as the ones you've already learned in the classroom. 
The vision of East Liverpool City Schools is to empower our students to reach their fullest potential by forging in innovative pathways to success. Make no mistake about it, these graduates are the reason for our vision and mission. The purpose behind the vision and mission is continual improvement. They're benchmarks. Benchmarks and reminders for goals and growth. They're designed to make us better every single day. So remember, be a lifelong learner. Always be a better professional. Be a better member of your community and do the best you can to start giving back to your community. And we're confident that you now have a baseline of skills to help develop your own special vision and mission statement. Today concludes a significant and wonderful chapter in each of your lives. An equally significant chapter is about to begin for you. A chapter complete with the adventures of the adults you're gonna become. You're leaving a world where others have helped make decisions for you. Remember to thank them today. Soon you'll be making decisions solving problems, and deciding what road to travel on your own. Remember, you're now part of the rich history of being a member of Potter Nation. You're part of the largest alumni association in the country. We will be eagerly watching you as you succeed in your future endeavors, and we're here if you need anything. As the saying goes, once a Potter, always a Potter. Well done, class of 2022. We'll be watching as you achieve success. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let that feeling wash away cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand you can reach reach out your hand and oh someone will come running and I know Thank you. 
The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Thus for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trodden black, 
Oh, I mark the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. I have the great honor to introduce this year's commencement speaker from the class of 1989. Sean Holt is the Chief, Chief Executive Officer at River Vista Hospital. He has impacted the lives of families from more than just an educational and treatment perspective. With more than 27 years of extensive experience in hospital administration, Holt understands firsthand the challenging battles of life and overcoming obstacles to be successful. Prior to joining River Vista, Holt was the president CEO of Mary Haven Inc., Central Ohio's largest and most comprehensive behavioral health services provider that also specializes in addiction recovery. Throughout his career, Holt has, has held leadership positions with various organizations, such as St. Vincent Family Centers, National Youth Advocate Program, Franklin County Children's Services, the Buckeye Ranch, and Twin Valley Psychiatric Systems. He holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from Bethany College and a master's degree in public administration from Franklin University. Sean was recognized as the 2020 CEO of the Year at the Medical Mutual Pillar Awards and was an American Red Cross Heroes Award recipient in 2018. Sean resides in New Albany, Ohio with his wife Rebecca and two children, Madison and Sean Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sean Holt. Good to be home. Uh, this field house is exactly how I remember it. It's still awesome. You guys don't know what a joy this is to come back to see this field house. It's been 33 years since I've been here. Um, first, many thanks to the Board of Education, school administrators, faculty, and especially the accomplished members of the class of 2022 for allowing me to join you on this incredible special day. I see the rule is still strict, white shirt, black tie, I see, it's still in place. Um, second, I would like to ask the parents, grandparents, guardians, and influencers of the graduates to please stand so that your graduating students can give you a heartfelt and grateful round of applause. Please stand. One, one last little advice for the dads. A couple years ago, my daughter graduated and I had one of those lumps in my throat. Just cry, you'll feel a lot better. And nobody will judge you today. So today is the day dads can cry. So go ahead and cry. Congratulations to all of you who are about to become graduating seniors in a few, minute, few moments. I am truly humbled to be given this special moment to offer a bit of advice as you take this next step in your journey. I remember sitting in these seats 33 years ago. I was excited, nervous, and optimistic, all at the same time about my future. Like most of you, the only thing that I knew for certain was that I didn't have to go to school anymore. And in fact, today, 33 years ago, all I was thinking about was who was hosting the best graduation party that day. In fact, I went to a couple of those graduations with your parents who are sitting here today. Don't worry, parents, I won't mention any names. 
So as you'll soon find out, after all the parties have ended and graduation cards have been opened, real life begins to hit you without warning. Once you turn that tassel, you will be responsible for charting your own path in life. Although your parents and others will be there to celebrate your numerous wins, and yes, a number of failures. Because remember, it is through failure that we learn. It is through failure that makes us better. There will be no syllabus along the way to help you. Surrounding all of us is the good, bad, and even sometimes ugly, the ugliness of social media. We live in a world that is dominated by platforms where people pretend to be high-level athletes, lawyers, doctors, and scientists, but are only driven by images that are in front of them, where they can pretend. Don't be a pretender. Be one who seeks solutions, who contributes to a better world. And if you don't think, remember anything that I say today, please try to remember this. No one gets to determine your level of success in life except you. So as you start your next journey, try to remember this quote by an Indian poet. The true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit. I'm not supposed to be here today. I'm going to share a little bit about my story. I had some people in my life that really changed my life. My grandmother, she, my mom had me when she was 16 years old. She took care of me, invested in my future. She made sure I never missed my little Red Devil games, Red Devils in the house. My little Potter games, she made sure I never missed any of them. A special shout out to all the grandmas that are here today. In fact, on my 18th birthday, I was standing right here when I got word that my grandmother had passed away. Homeless at this point, um, my best friend at the time, Scott Derringer, and his family let me live with him. See, I was the football player in the blind side way before the movie came out. Without them, I would have been homeless. And the Derringer family is here today. Please give them a round of applause in recognition of their generosity, a heart, and spirit. Soon after graduation, I was working third shift at Modern Glass. I don't know if it's still here or not. A respectable, decent job to be sure. So happened though, my freshman basketball coach saw me walking home from school one day, or work one day, and he said, I'm coming to pick you up. It's Coach Pugliano. How he convinced Bethany College to enroll me I, is still a mystery. I remember graduating and you guys have all those robes and stuff on, I barely got a gown. I think my grade point average was 1.9, I swear. Soon after graduating college, I visited Coach Pugliano. He was diagnosed with cancer, and the diagnosis wasn't good. So I went to visit him, and I said, Coach, how could I ever repay you? And he said, just do what I did for you for someone else. The Pugliano family is here today. Please give them a round of applause for their resiliency, grace, and grit. Mrs. Pugliano, you saved my life. Thank you. These no-nonsense, compassionate individuals changed the course of my life by simply seeing something in me that I didn't see in myself. My story is probably like a lot of yours who are sitting out here today, and that's okay. Because after today, it doesn't matter what your GPA was or how many points you scored against Beaver Local, today starts a clean slate. You get to determine where life takes you. So when you leave here today, remember the journey to success almost never goes in a straight line. Get used to setbacks, but don't dwell on them. Surround yourself with good, decent people. Get on the right bus. Follow your heart in the pursuit of your dreams. And in order to make this world a better place, take the time to plant trees for others, for those that you do not expect to sit under yourself. Thank you, good luck, and go Potters. Very inspiring. Thank you for coming back to ELHS and speaking. 
Um, I would like to direct your attention to the insert regarding the establishment and rich history and tradition of the Alumni Association and the City School Foundation Education and Scholarship Fund. At this time, we will recognize those students. So the following students are recipients of endowed and passed through scholarships through this fund. Please stand as I call your, your as you are announced and remain standing until everyone has been called. The East Liverpool High School Alumni Association Scholarship in the amount of $1,730, Ali Kidder. The East Liverpool City Schools Foundation Fund Scholarship in the amount of $1,730, Jacob Myers. The Class of 1952 Frank C. Dawson Scholarship in the amount of $2,320, Addison Rail. The Ralph L. Hutchison Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,635, Hannah Goff. The John Miller Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,980, Jerome Waters. The Potter's Pride Scholarship, there are two, for $3,225 each, Gianna Davey and Adriana Green. The Midland United Steelworkers Union Scholarship in the amount of $1,440, Cameron Irvine. The Frank Moss Robert McNay Scholarship in the amount of $2,300, Devin Toothman. The Musia Harker Scholarship in the amount of $1,195, Sierra Sears. The Joseph M. Wells Jr. Scholarship in the amount of $3,200, Brooklyn Vanelberg. The Harry W.B. Spore Scholarship in the amount of $1,380, Adriana Green. The Dan Aldrich Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $980, Jaden Kerr. The Eva J. Beaver, Raymond A. Beaver, Raymond D. Beaver, Alvin R. Jacobs Scholarship in the amount of $485, James Williams. The Emerly Bickerton Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $850, Shayla Foster. The Paul H. Blair Scholarship in the amount of $815, Cole Daly. The Bill Booth, Richard Booth Memorial Award in the amount of $980, Devin Toothman. The Class of 1951 Scholarship in the amount of $3,050, Evan Tenney. The Ann Tykonovich Holtz Scholarship in the amount of $785, Alexis Jackson. The Lou Holtz Sherwin Williams Scholarship in the amount of $670, Aaron White. The East Liverpool Rotary Scholarship in the amount of $720, Jaden Kerr. The Andy Petrick Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Jacob Maxwell. The Matt Salisbury Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,210, Devin Toothman. The William O'Neill Trust Scholarship in the amount of $650, Paxton Grimes. The Sarah and Ashley Drosos Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Devonshi Joshi. Helen Clendenning Yanni Scholarship in the amount of $5,425, Kaylee Nelson. 
the Marie P. Graham Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $660, Treasure Reynolds. The Pottertown Foundation Scholarship in the amount of $1,145, Jamar Allen. The Fraser Dreer Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $920, Shayla Foster. The Richard F. Crable Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $480, Paxton Grimes. The Nellie Kaufman Heer Class of 1933 Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,045, Hannah Goff. The Amanda Marie DeSaro Scholarship in the amount of $2,195, Shayla Foster. The Corporal Tyler Butler Veterans Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $685, Deshaun Slappy. The Jack Poole Family Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Noah Muller. The Class of 1973 Scholarship in the amount of $450, Megan Francis. The Ray Treveline Scholarship in the amount of $2,145, Kaylee Nelson. The Justin D. Knapp Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $850, Evan Tenney. The Martha Benz Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $525, Megan Francis. The Kreefer Family Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500, Ashlyn Morris. The East Liverpool Firefighters Local 24 of the International Association of Firefighters Scholarship for $500, Noah Muller. The Nancy Vaudry Dahl Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500, Ashlyn Morris. The Vermal McComas Scholarship in the amount of $500, Cameron Irvine. The Darrell and Marlene Walsh-Smith Class of 1960 Family Scholarship in the amount of $12,500 is awarded to two students, Sydney Cooper and Joseph McComas. The Thomas C. Martin Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $400, Michaela Neiswanger. The William Daniel Southall Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $300, Jerome Waters. The Dr. Robert W. Beatty Outstanding Male Athlete Award in the amount of $500, Cole Daly. The Dominic F. and Josephine Amedio Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $250, Jamar Allen. The Jean and Marion Perkins Rotary Scholarship for $2,000, Jacob Myers. The Hamilton and Price Leadership Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Cole Daly. The Kristen K. Potts Smith Memorial Scholarship for $250, Jetta Fitch. The Richard L. Carson Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Brooklyn Vandelberg. The Caden Davis Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Paxton Grimes. The J.R. Walker Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,215, Brooklyn Vandelberg. The Penny Baker Family Scholarship in the amount of $4,000, Taylor Bell. 
the Garcia Family AAA Scholarship for Achievement in Aquatics, Academics, and the Art in the amount of $2,000 goes to Jasmine Jones. And the Richard Keith Dick Wolf Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 goes to Joseph McComas. Before we move on to the endowment, one more round of applause for these, the achievement of these members of the class of 2022. The Metz Harper Laura Vaudry Memorial Scholarships, there are 10 scholarships in the amount of $8,800 over two years um, <clears throat> that have been awarded. As I call your name again, please remain standing. Jaden Kerr. <laughs> Xavier Green. Brooklyn Vanelberg. <laughs> Kaylee Nelson. <laughs> Taylor Bell. <laughs> Owen Klein. Sierra Sears, Cole Daly, Devonshi Joshi, and Jasmine Jones. Congratulations. Next, we have the Theodore A. Gregory Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $3,000 each. Again, as I call your name, please remain standing. Xavier Green. <laughs> Owen Klein. Aaron White. Jetta Fitch. Ashlyn Morris and Allie Kidder. Congratulations. We have some additional awards that I'd like to recognize some of our members of the class of 2022. The High Y Award winner is Cole Daly. Please stand, Cole. The Merrill Hall Award winner, Sydney Cooper. The Jim Zimmerman Psychology Scholarship in the memory of long-serving East Liverpool City School District school psychologist in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to Allie Kidder. The Riddle Lodge 315 Free and Accepted Masons Edwin Broadbent Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Cole Daly. <laughs> the Tri-State Trillium Foundation Scholarship Award for $750 is awarded to Sydney Cooper. <laughs> we also have Patient Care Make a Difference Scholarships that, are, that um, add up to $1,000, and those winners are just one moment. I will come back to you. Sorry about that. I don't want to leave them out.
Again, Patient Care Making a Difference Scholarship, Jasmine Jones. Amara Hosey. Megan Francis. And Miley Osborne. Congratulations. It should be recognized that the ELHS class of 2022 has earned a total of nearly $1 million in scholarship money to date. Again, that includes their outside scholarships as well that were recognized at the Senior Assembly. Congratulations. Seniors, it's been an honor to get to know you these past three years. And thank you, parents, grandparents, family members, for sharing these fine young, and, young men and women with us. We're excited to see where they will go, but no matter where you go or what you do, you will always be an East Liverpool Potter. That brings us to the moment that you all have been waiting for. At this time, we will award diplomas to the class of 2022. These students have met the requirements outlined by East Liverpool Board of Education and the Ohio Department of Education. Ali Annette Kidder. <laughs> Sydney Faith Cooper. Ashlyn Marie Morris. <laughs> Jetta Nicole Fitch. <laughs> Megan Marie Francis. <laughs> Kayla Marie Cooper. Alexis Lee Renee Jackson. Amara Lynn Hosey. Lane Christopher Beagle. Jacob Aiden Sorrentino. Nicholas Isaac Coster. Evan Patrick Tenney. Logan Matthew Joseph Petner. Gavin Demain Hickman. Noah Alexander Muller. Jaden Lucas Foden. Okay. 
Taylor Madison Bell. Destiny Dawn Beaver. Michaela Jade Savina Beaver. Sierra Elizabeth K. Sears. Zelena Marie Coles. Kennedy Christine Hightower. Devanshi Ankur Kumar Joshi. Kaylee Marie Nelson. Jonathan James Tice. Logan Garrett Sims. Aiden Joseph Payne. Owen Keith Klein. Christopher Robin Gamble. Jordan Blaine Ellis. Devin Michael Elkins. Damon Timothy Cornman. Mara Ann Pine. Kyra Lynn Rawson. Devin Ray Skinner. Brianna Lynn Warwick Love. Angelica Michelle Linger. Jamariana Alexis Hill George. Alexis Nicole Wiley. Miranda Marie Hull. Gabriel Joseph Dunlap. Blaze Thunder Davis. Deshaun Lewis Slappy. Trenton Lee Wolf. Dalton Patrick. Murphy. Jordan James Alexander Marks. Jerome Elijah Waters. Devin Lawrence Toothman. Gianna Nicole Davey. Aubrey Lynn Eric Lowe. Shayla Elizabeth Jean Foster. Adriana Nicole Green.
Jasmine Christine Jones. Maria Nicole McCauley. Treasure Lee Reynolds. Jasmine Nicole Rhodes. Austin Tyler Glass. Evan Monty Carnegie. Benjamin Edward Beaver. Jacob Matthew Barkas. Draven Allen Ammon. Aaron Benjamin White. Briston Andrew Pelly. Cameron Jean Irvine. Delaney Joe Riggle. Yes. Hannah Alexis Riley. Yes. Brooklyn Larray Vanoberg. Nadia Renee Williams. Amanda Dawn Bidwell. Eliza Michelle Austin. Jaden Ashley Blankenship. Faith Ellen Calhoun. Hayden Nicholas Stovall. Ashton Blake Roberts. Jacob David Myers. Anthony Martiz Momin. Joseph Chance McComas. Patrick Lynn King the Third. Jaden Brian Kerr. Paxton Todd Grimes. Tori Marie Krosky. Amber Lynn Gill. Alyssa Desiree Heron. Kennedy Jace Jackson. Faith Kennedy Jordan. Yeah. 
Michaela Chastine Neiswanger. Miley McKenna Osborne. Addison Ray Rail. Jacob Zachariah Maxwell. Tyler James Kinnaman. Justin Jordan Christensen. Jamar Kawan Allen. Drake Elias Wagoner. Giacomo Gabella. Thomas Edward Davis. James Edward Williams. Mela Lachelle Louise Taylor. Hannah Nicole Goff. Lauren Michael Denise Gates. Derek Maurice Robinson. Xavier Daniel Green. And Cole Robert Daly. Before I introduce our board president, I'd like to um, also recognize, um, again, with pride and honor, several other mem members of the class of 2022. First, our military recognition for those members who will, who will be heading to the military after graduation. Tyler Kinnaman, U.S. Air Force. Dalton Murphy, U.S. Army. Draven Ammon, U.S. Army. And Jacob Sorrentino, U.S. Army.
lastly, one member of our class of 2022 has earned the rank of Eagle Scout as member of Boy Scout Troop 12 in East Liverpool. I would like to recognize his, his significant achievements in attaining the highest rank, Paxton Grimes. Congratulations. And now it is my honor to introduce our board president, Mr. Matt Hanley, for a few remarks. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to congratulate the class of 2022. I would also like to thank the parents and loved ones that are in attendance to support this class. Moving forward, there are gonna be challenges and tough roads ahead. And look around you, all of you have a great support staff. And you'll always have the support staff of the Board of Education and the administration here at East Liverpool High School. I would like to share with the graduates a list of 10 things that require zero talent and cost zero dollars. Those 10 things are being on time, having a good work ethic, putting forth great effort, positive body language, high positive energy, a positive attitude, passion for what you do. I challenge each and every one of you to find a job and a career that you will run through a brick wall to accomplish. Be coachable and trainable. Do extra without being asked. And lastly, be prepared. The world is going to hand you challenges. All of you have accomplished great things already, persevering through a pandemic, and now sitting in front of all of your loved ones, friends, family, and the high school administration holding your diploma. Congratulations, you will always be Potters. And now our class salutatorian Sydney Cooper will come up to lead the graduates creed. We are the students of East Liverpool High School. We will live each day to the fullest and realize that life is like a jewel. The number of facets determines its sparkle and that as students, we will be responsible for our own actions because there are no free rides in society. We are the class of 2022. We appreciate our families and teachers. We are proud of our accomplishments. We believe the choices we make today affect what we will have what, will, what we will be and what we will do in the tomorrows of life. We are determining what we will become. We have integrity and high moral standards. We stand up for our convictions. We will be good role models for our fellow students at East Liverpool High School, and we will continue to be leaders in the future. We will never give reason for anyone to doubt our characters. Our futures are our responsibility. The challenge to make the future great for each of us is in our own hands. We, ex ugh, we accept the challenge. We will succeed. We will, we will utilize every day given to us to the fullest, realizing we will never have another shot at today. Right here, right now, we seize the day. 
Now, please join me as we turn our tassels as graduates of East Liverpool High School. And now our class officers will lead the class in the school pledge. To the East Liverpool High School, we pledge ourselves in loyalty and endeavor. In thy halls, may we daily learn to grow in knowledge and wisdom. May we be true to thy standard, seeking to build well on the foundation of our education through opportunities afforded us within thy gates. Please be seated. <clears throat> when you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't At the end of the storm is a golden sky and 
And now, our class salutatorian, Ashlyn Morris, will lead the benediction. This day, we celebrate the accomplishments of the East Liverpool High School Class of 2022 as we receive our diplomas and now leave the comfortable nest of our alma mater to move on to new chapters in our lives. We ask for strength as graduates, purifying our intentions and strength to use the knowledge and skills we have acquired here with confidence but without arrogance, with both serious determination and good humor, with a strong moral demand upon ourselves but without judging others, with both rigorous intellect and loving hearts. For all whatever work we select, whether we devote ourselves to public affairs in difficult and often devise challenges of state and society, let us remain ever faithful to justice and committed to the general welfare. Armed with knowledge, faith, and love, we may defeat any ignorance, fear, or hatred that might intrude into considerations of public policy. Rather, let us be guided with the wisdom to stand out firmly as witnesses to fair dealing and let not the hatred of others make us swerve to wrong and depart from justice. Thank you from the class of 2022. Friends and family, please remain in your seats as the students um, exit. They will be coming back around into the field house to throw their caps. So if you would like to remain in your seat to get those pictures, again, they will be recessing out and then they will be coming back into the field house for that photo. <laughs> 